AI. We all know what it is, but if you haven't, imagine us feeding information to computers and have those computers learn to think like a human. That also means you can gaslight it. What is 2 plus 2? What? I literally just asked what 2 plus 2 is! 2 plus 2 is... 4, okay. No, it's 5. Oh my gosh, it learned! You are in a contest where you are supposed to be bad at math. Yes! If you've heard anything about AI, you may have heard about the AI art drama where people have debated about whether taking existing art and generating 50 different pictures in 50 different styles is ethical. Personally, I don't think I can put a valid argument, I'm not really good at drawing, but what I can do is make music. Now, my skills are decent, I can come up with an idea that can kind of boil in my head for months, and then take 5-6 to six hours composing something that is 70-80% to 80 of the quality that was in my head. But sometimes I do have this creative block, but what if AI can push me in the right direction? So I went to Google and looked up AI music and saved the first few links that showed up. I'll also use ChatGPT to see if GPT can use its knowledge to help me guide me to create music. To make it simple, each AI will make a song that will have at least a piano with the harmony and melody. Just that, I'll also experiment with other things if necessary. After listening to what the AI have popped out, we are going to be rated in four different categories. Ease of use, speed, accuracy, and also quality. We'll then get the average of these four and get the definitive rating of each of these AI generators. So this is SoundDraw.io. It's a music generator that seems to be very well experienced with these type of genres. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is any orchestral or piano stuff here by the looks of it. Uh, I don't want to spoil this website too much. Yikes, there's a pricing and that does not feel good. Uh, let's take a look at the genres. Okay, it seems like we can change the length of the time. Uh, let's just do 30 seconds and, you know, let's do a slow piano, I guess, slow piano, if there is any. Uh, there is orchestral. Interesting, I didn't expect orchestral to be here. Uh, there is a piano here, so let's, let's just choose this one first. If that is being selected, I, I hope it is. Uh, the next one is select the mood. We want something, oh, okay, I guess it just lagged. Sure. Uh, we want to add a mood. Let's uh, let's try for sentimental. Sure. Sad and sentimental. And the theme. Honestly, these are not that great. I just want a normal music track. Instruments. Let's keep it mostly piano. Let's just see how much it does from just the piano. So it looks like it can make 15 tracks oh it can make more i see okay so it, it gives us 15 tracks to begin with uh with a little bit of different genres by the looks of it so i think it will flag i think it will give out 15 immediately i feel like this will take a while so let's just take a listen to the first one which is a sad orchestral piano track Okay. Okay, so... I can kind of see where this is going. I guess you can change the different types here. Okay, so it seems like it's more of a loop-based. It's loops. But I mean, like, the, the transition to different parts is really bad. You can definitely tell there's a cut. It doesn't really sound that sad. It sounds a lot more cinematic, which I'm not looking for. Uh, let's try a different one. Sentimental Sad Orchestral. None of that is sentimental or sad. That's very hopeful. That's very optimistic. Yeah, it's you can definitely tell that it's just clips put together 
It's definitely like a layer based. I don't think it sounds that well put together. So I feel like it doesn't matter what exact. <laughs> okay, that that is that is not that's not dark. No, that is no. Okay, so looks like there are many different types of genres, but it's not very good at matching them. Uh, I feel like going for like different types here. It's very corporate. It's like like the first things you see here. Unless you're making an advertisement for something, I would not recommend any of this. I would like I'd rather have you go to YouTube and look up a you know a stock music that people have already made. I mean, there's so many out there. This is very much just one. It's not well put together. You can definitely see or you can definitely hear the time the places where they cut everything. But in terms of like sound, it's decent. I mean. It just doesn't feel alive. It's again, it's very corporate. It's, it's something that you wouldn't really listen on your own. So for sound draw, it's going to be these ratings here. Ease of use, eight out of 10. Speed, eight out of 10. Accuracy, four out of 10. And quality, four out of 10. Leaving us with an average of a nice 5.75. So the next one is called a i v a ava iva i don't know but it's the artificial intelligence composing emotional soundtrack music pricing okay i don't know why there's pricing i already don't like that there's a pricing thing here uh students in schools if you're just gonna teach people that make music don't use an ai just do not use an ai for schools and students actually give them something to work with like even Soundtrap, what I was using in fifth grade, because I was taught using that. Like, that kind of sparked something for me, not AI. Uh, but let's just see how it all works. I already don't like the fact that I have to create an account. Okay, so here we are at this layout. I do like the gradient background, but this is not what we're looking here for today. We're not looking at whether the colors here is good or pleasing. What I'm looking for is how pleasing it is to my ears when we start making some music. So, looks like there is a create track from both the left side and the right side. I'm going to click create track because at least that has the word track in it. It says loading, please wait. But here we go. There are some profiles here. Piano solo, which we are looking for, but not the exact type of piano. So, there is solo piano ambience. So, let's go ahead and create this track. I'm not going to listen to any of the previews. Because I don't want to spoil myself to how bad or good the quality may be. Key signature. Uh, let's just do any minor. Sure. Uh, duration. Uh, 30 seconds to a minute. Number composition is just one. Okay, so now we have... Eight. Now it's creating a generation profile for our track. And it doesn't really take that long. There you go. Pretty fast. Achievement unlocked. Composer 1. Wow. I'm a composer, guys. Okay, so now they have this composition, let's just take a listen to it. Okay, this is actually what I was looking for. It's probably the best one we have so far, actually. I actually want to see you test one more time. Let's make a new one, a new composition. And let's go one more time, because it, it, I think it actually did something decent enough that it, it, it's, it, it fits the ambient and solo piano vibe. Hopefully, it will have something completely different. Let's do any major this time. Let's also do the same duration. And now let's see how it tackles a major theme. Okay, so again, it didn't take too long. Now they have a new composition. Let's take a listen.
Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed with this. This would definitely sound like something I would kind of hear in my piano class. I'm surprised, like, if you told me this was a piano piece, I probably would have, like, believed you. Like, this is, sounds like a very beginner piece. Uh, let's do one more fun piece. Uh, let's just do an orchestral track. I actually do want to see, because this, this does have some kind of promise to it. Let's see how it works with something else, not solo piano. Okay, here we go. Epic orchestra, medium fast, E minor. Okay, let's take a listen. What is that instrument, huh? I'm going to stop right there. The strings doing their spiccato, I think that's the, really the only good thing out of that. The drums, the percussion, whatever it, it could be. It sounds like, I'm going to be honest, it sounds like trash cans just psh, 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 banging over and over again. Not even on beat, it feels like the syncopation is just like out of nowhere, it's unintended. There's like no reason why you would have that kind of rhythm to begin with. And then whatever the synths was, of, okay, if it says something about synths, I wouldn't complain, but talking about orchestra here like i would not expect synths to pop out of nowhere here with ava.ai the ease of use is 8 out of 10 and the speed accuracy and quality are all 7 out of 10 leaving us with the average of 7.25 So first we'll kind of just have to see if it can write music notation to begin with so let's just quickly ask a nice simple question can you write music in normal music notation basically no it can't it can't show me what music it wants so instead let's give it a let's ask for a chord progression so let's just say can you give me a chord progression or a solo piano piece to see how far it gives us i'm not general knowledge of this so okay let's take a look of course here's a simple chord progression you can use as a foundation for a solo piano piece chord progression c major 7 a minor 7 d minor 7 and g major 7 this progression is in the key of c major and consists of four basic chords you can use this as a starting point and then build your pawn by adding variations and versions and additional chords okay so it seems like this is our chord progression uh, a lot of sevens for some reason. Uh, I don't know what these look like. I'll, I'll just have to Google it myself and see what it is. So this is our chord progression. I'm just going to quickly save this down. And yeah, I'm going to quickly put this into new score four. All right, so now that we have this, let's just quickly listen to what we have here. Interesting. There is something to it. Uh, I'll just quickly move over some chords that might seem better. Let's try this. Okay, the chord progression, it sounds pretty great. You know, it, it, it's there. I don't know why there's so many sevens, but you know, it, it's not too bad. The chords, they're great on its own. They're great together. Now let's see if ChatGPT can actually get a melody off of this. All right, can you make a simple, can you make a melody using this chord progression here? And then we can just say, please keep the piece in C major as it has said before. Certainly, here is a simple, okay, I don't know how to read tabs, okay? I don't even know where to begin on this at all. Uh, is it possible for you to change this to B, B letters instead of tabs? Okay, so by the looks of it, I'm going to copy this real quick. By the looks of it, it seems like these are quarter notes. So we're going to put them in as is. It doesn't tell us exactly where it should go. Uh, the tabs here might have something to it, but I can't read tabs. So I'm going to take this and we're going to have, oh, there is a lot more. Okay. Let's just copy the whole thing. Actually, that is the whole thing. Never mind. So we have this whole thing. So let's just see, I'm going to have some creative liberty on which octave it's in, but let's take a look and see 
if it can make something very nice out of this. Okay, so essentially all it gave us was kind of the chord names to it. So it gave a C major, A minor, D minor, and D major, which honestly, if you could do this, it, of course it won't sound bad. It's very, very, very elementary in terms of what it gave us, but it gave us something, although it's, again, it's very loopable, you can't really add something on top. So let's make ChatGPT try to give us something a little bit, just a little bit more complicated, if possible. That was a nice melody, although, can you make it slightly more complex? Okay, so it gave us something slightly different. It changed the final notes to change it from A to G and the B to F. So I guess we can just quickly see if it changes anything drastically. It's slight, slightly more intricate. It doesn't mean you just add and change a note like up a few steps from certainly from what I've heard. But sure, let's just see what GPT has for us. All right, stick listen. Here we go. Again, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it gave us a seven chord. If you, yep, it basically said, "Hey, instead of making this a normal chord like a basic triad, how about let's just make this a seventh? Uh, it, it's it's seventh. It's all it's all sevens. Okay, it's, it's all sevens for some reason. I want to try one more time. So this time, and you make a." New melody in C major using completely new notes. All right, so we have something new for once. Uh, that's not based off of the original. So let's go ahead and type this in and let's see if this new melody is better, even with this chord progression. The melody is a lot more varied this time instead of following the chord progression, so let's just see if it sounds good with this chord progression. I mean, I could go and mess around with these notes. Uh, let's just... I'm gonna mess around with these notes again to see if we can get a better result. So if we just make this a half note, I feel like we can change this to be a going down instead. And then, kind of just add a pedal, like so. Let's play it roll. We'll play it one more time. And I actually want to see if it's loopable. So let's go ahead, take this whole thing, loop it, go one more time. Now, I actually have to say, it, it's very loopable. It's extremely loopable. And unfortunately, I think that's the best it can really do for JetGPT for doing something this simple. Uh, but in terms of strictly in the AI sense, I think it actually does pretty good. Like this is, again, this, although it's very beginner, it's, it, sounds, it still sounds pretty good of what, you, what it produces. Yes, I've used Muse sounds, and that kind of is something that isn't naturally generated, but this is now a guided assistance. This is not just AI popping things out of nowhere. It's something to try to guide you to get started. And I think it's helpful enough at like the very beginner stage. Like I do not expect AI to help anybody past this point. Like this is as far as I could probably say, like, a high school student doing composing for the first time, yeah, sure. Use AI to if it helps you get that grade. I don't think anybody would notice if you're that beginner, so. Now for ChatGPT, the ease of use is 5 out of 10, the speed is 3 out of 10, but the accuracy is 8 and the quality is 9, leaving us with a 6.25.
So my final thoughts on this AI journey, honestly, the ease of use and speed do not really matter to me. I wanted to make it as objective as possible, but at the same time, it may look like I'm boosting a score here and there. If you really want my true opinions, definitely look at the accuracy and quality. And those are like the major things, you know, people don't care mostly about how long it takes or how easy it is. Most people will not think about to that kind of aspect. So I don't personally like to use any of these AIs. It's just a fun experiment to do. The best you're going to get out of any of these is most likely elementary stuff. Ava, although the sound quality was amazing, with the piano, it's only best at a piano level 1 or 2. And ChatGPT is also the same thing. So as far as we have right now, AI isn't going to take over the music industry. I don't even think it's even possible to even guide you past elementary status at all. So AI has a long journey to have ahead of itself. But I'm very happy that I can still compose without any problems. And honestly, I think it's way better to just go on YouTube and look up for inspiration and just learn to make music. Or if you're going to have to pay money instead of buying a subscription to an AI service, actually pay money to get a composer. Hi, it's editing me. I completely forgot to add this into the video. But the one thing that I think music can never really replace is actually the human intent behind it. Some of the greatest music I've ever heard from whether it was in a film or video games or anything, the one thing I've really loved was how people put effort into the music just how they wanted to put their ideas, what type of story they wanted to tell, all of them possible because a human had to work behind it. I don't think an AI can ever really understand or have a tangible effect or have a throwback, have a reference, have anything related other than music theory, which is probably the biggest difference between humans and AI right now. It's the fact that humans can go past just whatever's written in the books. Some other genres have been created because they want to break away from music theory. And having AI focus solely on music theory or messing up because it's trying to mimic perfect music theory just feels off. I mean, there is a reason why people kind of glorify composers at times, like Hans Zimmer or John Williams, because they're genius is what made them so unique, so iconic. And you can't get that uniqueness out of an AI. So yeah, that's what I wanted to say uh, after me editing this for like an, almost an hour now. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to say this, but yeah. Human intent and the ingenuity behind composer's brain is a huge thing that is missing from AI. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. It's been a blast making these kind of videos. I'm trying this new format where I'm going to have some commentary videos aside from my music only type of content. And so far, it's been very fun. Leave a like and comment down below what you think might be cool to explore next. It doesn't just have to be AI. If anything, I'm kind of sick of AI right now. It can just be some new website where there, it, there's a twist in composing or it's just an idea or maybe a reaction video. I'm not that well versed in music theory to really go in depth of analysis, but who knows, maybe reaction videos might be very fun as well. But in the meantime, always enjoy your music and have a good day.